Today's tutorial is how to set up flaps using the three line method. So let's get started. Setting up the three line method for flaps, there's a few steps we need to do. First, we need to add three lines. Two, configure the speed we want them to work. And three, adjust the value for the flap deflection or the position that you want the flaps to stay. We're going to click on model. Go into mixer, add a channel, and assuming for this tutorial that our flaps are going to be on channel 6. However, if you're going to use a different channel, just select that one now. Click on channel 6. Now you need to select a source. You want to go up top, click on this icon, and use max. Now we're going to set the speed. You can do this individually if you want, which is a plus of the three line method for flaps, or you can set them all the same. I'm going to set them up all the same, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the gear, scroll up, and right here where it says slow up and slow down, you put the amount of seconds you want. I'm going to use four seconds. You click on the double arrows to go up and down by a second. You use the plus and minus to go up by a tenth of a second if you want to adjust it a little bit more precise or to get the exact speed that you want. I'm going to click on slow down. And that means now that we have four seconds in both the spaces, we've got four seconds for them to go slow up, four seconds for them to go slow down. If for some reason you wanted to add a delay, you can click that right here, delay up and down, and add the time. We're going to back up. Click on the line we just made. Click copy. Click it again. Paste after. So now that gave us a second line. I'm just going to click on the one we just made. Copy. And click paste after. Now, because we did set up the time in the first line that copied the time and the settings all the way to the next two lines. You can go back in and edit them if you want to, or you can just leave it with them all three the same. Just letting you know that there's flexibility both ways. Now we're going to click on the first one again, click edit, and we're going to add our switch positions. I'm going to use switch SB. So this is the top line. I'm going to associate that with the top switch position, which is flaps up. I'm going to toggle the switch down and back up. It gives me SB up. Go back to the previous menu. We'll click on the second line. Click edit. Now let's assume for half flaps or takeoff flaps, we're going to have a value of positive 25%. Click on weight. Go down to positive 25%. Once you've done that, we're going to add SB in the middle. Now we've assigned 25% to SB in the middle. Go back to the previous menu and do the third line. Click edit. We're going to change this and assume that our value is going to be negative 30. Now I'm just using generic values to show you three different values. However, you can use whatever you need to get the deflection you want, whether it's the percentages in the owner's manual or using a ruler and measuring the deflection or deflection meter for the actual surface. Last thing we need to do is assign SB down. That's going to be for our full flaps or landing flaps. Now let's go back to the previous menu and I'm going to toggle up. As you notice, when you flip the switch, it highlights the switch position. So right now, my switch is SB up and a value of 100%. The max makes it go to that value. So what's really nice about this, let's say you need to adjust your values. You don't actually have to go to another screen. You just adjust them in this menu. Also, this allows you to have separate speeds for three individual lines. As I mentioned, these are just generic values, but let's say that you've got the values you want 
However, they're in the opposite direction. You just need to change this number from a positive to a negative or vice versa. One common way you'll know that right off the bat, let's say you got your flaps up in the neutral position and positive 100 puts them all the way down. Some receivers use positive 100 for the flaps up. Some receivers start with minus 100 with the flaps up. So let's say in this scenario, we needed to change them. You could just go to edit on the first line, click on the value, and click the invert button, which is the plus slash minus button. So now you see it changed it from plus 100 to minus 100. Then you would just change the other two to the opposite. You would invert that one as well. And then you go to the last one and invert it. And that one would actually make it from negative 30 to positive 30. Now we've completed the three line method for a fixed wing aircraft. If you learned something new or found this video informative, go ahead and push like down below. If you want to see future videos on TX16S tutorial, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one.